Hey everyone, how are you? Hi Jessica. Listen, so you guys, I am doing sharing seven steps with you to reach optimal health, right? So you got to define for yourself first what optimal health looks like. By the way, hello everybody in the inner health, outer beauty, four things the body needs. Whoop, whoop. And if you are in the Proverbs 31 lifestyle community, hello, love you guys. Mwah. So, okay, let me share with you seven steps to reaching optimal health. For me, I'm going to define that as being physically strong, emotionally balanced, and mentally alert, having energy from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. So you got to decide what that looks like for you. When I first started, my first goal was to get up a flight of steps and not feel like I was going to pass out, right? If you would have told me two years after that, I would have been running 10 miles and it wouldn't have been hard. I would have never believed you. But I want to share with you real quick, for those of you guys, it's getting to be summertime who want to have more energy, who want to lose weight, who want to feel great, who want to look great, you want to feel good about yourself because you're beautiful, right? So you should own your beauty and you should embrace your beauty. So anyway, seven steps, ready? Exercise five days a week. Exercise five days a week. Um, I have talked to many people who say that they exercise four days a week to maintain, but if they feel like they have to drop weight, they have to exercise five days a week exercise five days a week, five days a week, minimum of five days a week, four days maintains, five days helps you to stay on your on track to lose weight. Step number two, exercise step number one, right? And you want to in include, a, uh, inc you want to include a combination of stretching, cardio, and, um, and, uh, strength training. Okay. Step two, water, half your body weight in ounces of water half your body weight in ounces of water. Figure that out. How much do you weigh? Divide it by two. That's what you should be drinking in water every day. That's going to help flush out toxins. Okay. Step three, minimum of eight hours of sleep. Your body doesn't start healing until the seventh hour. That means if you're trying to lose weight, your body is going through changes. If you're trying to get healthy, if you're trying to get better with rest, if you want your mind to be more clear, whatever it is that you're trying to heal inside of you, hello, beautiful Debbie, whatever it is that you're trying to heal inside of you, it doesn't start healing until the seventh hour. So if you are only sleeping six hours a day um, versus like that's no healing time, right? So if you're sleeping eight hours a day, that is one hour of healing. And if you're going to go through changes, you're going to need more sleep. That's why when women are pregnant, they need more sleep. Their body's going through changes. Step four, proper nutrients. Okay. This is a tough one because sometimes exercising seems hard, but it's a, the thing that's the hardest is the eating. So I just want to encourage you to move towards 70% raw, right? 70% raw, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. A majority of what you should eat should be things that's light, that's life. Like drink a blended drink every day, have a freshly squeezed juice every day, eat salad every day. Move towards more raw. Step five, eat when you are hungry. This is a big one. This is a big one. Eat when you are, oh, oh my gosh, only get five to six hours, Debbie. No, you're going to have to have a power nap in between there someplace. Eight hours of sleep will help you heal, right? Anything over four hours. Step five, this is a big one. Eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full, okay? God created your body. He created food for your body to eat, and it knows what to do with it. But he also gave you hunger, so you know when you're supposed to eat and when you're supposed to stop eating. Eat when you are hungry, stop when you're full. Put it in your mind, write it on a three by five card. Eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full. Terry, big thing that people say to me once they start the journey towards inner health, outer beauty. I don't know when I'm hungry. Okay, let yourself get hungry. Trust me, you're not gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it, right? When food, I'm telling you, food was my God. Food was an addiction. And it feels like I'm going to die when I'm hungry. But why? It's actually for the sixth one, which is learn the difference between a craving and a hunger. So you've got to let yourself get hungry. And then you've got to feel yourself getting full. What's going to make you mad is when you exercise really hard and you feel like you should be able to um, eat more and you actually want to eat less. That's what's going to surprise you. And you're going to feel like, oh my gosh, most people overeat a lot and they don't even know it. Eat when you're hungry. Stop when you're full. Write it on a three by five card. Put it in your car. Put it in your Bible. Put it on your mirror. Eat when you're hungry. Stop when you're full. Eat to nourish and strengthen your mind and physical body and your emotions. Okay. Step six, 
Learn the difference between a hunger and a craving. Learn the difference between a hunger and a craving, okay? Which means you're gonna have to cut out things that you already know are gonna cause a craving if you want to be physically strong, emotionally balanced, and mentally alert, right? Take care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit, and soul. Okay, you guys, so I was just thinking about this, right? The soul is your emotions. And a lot of us are like on this emotional roller coaster ride. Oh my gosh, that's just terrible. I hate it. I hate, I hated being on an emotional roller coaster ride. No, somebody said to me today, you're pretty emotionally, you're like pretty emotionally in tune and solid, right? Because I don't want to put anything in my body that's going to cause me to be on this emotional roller coaster ride. And I'm going to tell you step one, which is exercise is going to help you to feel better mentally and emotionally. Okay. So step five is eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full. Step six is learn the difference between hunger and a craving. Most people are craving all day long and they think they're hungry all day long. And that's why they can't eat when they're hungry and stop when they're full. So let yourself get hungry. If getting full is after three bites, stop eating pay attention, right? That should actually be a step, but pay attention so you can learn to eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full, learn the difference between a hunger and a craving. Step seven. So maybe everybody might not want to do all seven steps at one time, right? Have one day a week of all raw, if you can do it, or have one day a week of fasting and praying. That, so step seven is not a step that everybody might want to move towards, but if you want optimal health, you want to really have energy from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, you're going to start being in tune with your body. God gave you your body and he gave you your emotions and he gave you your mind to take care of. And you can live, this is, this actually is for anybody who probably wants to live to see the fourth generation, right? In Job, it says that he lived a long life seeing his children and grandchildren to the fourth generation. But who wants to see children and grandchildren to the fourth generation if we are tired and poor and sick, right? So we want to see, we want to be part of our children's lives and our grandchildren's lives and our souls are connected to them. And we want to be around to pray with them and to help them navigate through the challenges in life. And you're not going to be around if you don't take care of you, mind, body, and spirit. So real quick, I'll recap. Step one, exercise five days a week, five days a week, not four. Step two, water, half your body weight in ounces of water. Step three, proper amount of sleep, minimum of eight hours, right? Step four, proper nutrients, work towards eating towards 70% raw fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Step five, eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full. Step six, learn the difference between a hunger and a craving. And if you can get to step seven, one day a week of all raw, right? Or one day a week of fasting and praying, What a difference. What a difference, you guys. All right, got to go. It's a great day outside here in Dover, Delaware. Drop in the comments something that you're thankful for. Um, Let me know where you're from and if it is a great day where you are. But this this is the day, you guys, that the Lord has made. So take care of you, mind, body, and spirit. God created you. God gave you food to eat, to nourish and strengthen your mind and body. And so if you learn how to do that, you guys, you can live a life of optimal health, right? Okay. Blessings in God's favor. Love you guys.